Okay, we're going to show you how to uh, change your uh, maintenance items in your uh, TB15 or TB30. They're identical. First thing you want to do, of course, is remove the screws from the outside of the housing. And take the cover off. And then we're going to replace these three parts. The filter dryer, one-third PSI backflow check valve, and a 30 PSI pressure limiting valve. Now what you're going to need are some, some wrenches. You'll need 9 16 wrenches, and you'll need a 5 8 wrench. Okay, the first thing we'll do is we'll start on the filter dryer. So we'll take a 9 16 wrench, and we'll hold the, the filter dryer, the 5 8 wrench, and we'll loosen the nut. Okay, and then on the other end, we need two 9 16 wrenches, one on the fitting, one on the filter dryer. Okay. We're going to loosen that. Okay. And then you should be able to remove that. What you're going to do is you take your new one, take the fittings off the end. It may leave some plastic residue, so make sure you clean that off. Make sure the direction of the arrows are facing towards the, the solenoid. And you put it in. The same way you took the other one out, hand tighten it. Hand tighten it, and then we'll tighten it. Holding the filter dryer, we tighten the fittings on either side of it. Now, <clears throat> to replace either of the check valves, we need a 9 16 wrench and a 5 8 wrench. First thing we do is we put the 5 8 wrench on the body of the check valve and we loosen the nut on top and we do the same thing and loosen the nut on the bottom. Once you get them loose, you should be able to take them off with your fingers. Okay. Remove the check valve. Again, this is the one-third PSI check valve. So when you put your new one in, you want to make sure that the arrow is facing in the up direction. I find it easiest to put the bottom one in first. Hand tighten the nut with your fingers. Pull the nut up on the top one. Pull it up close so it seats, then hand tighten the nut, and again, then to tighten them, we just reverse. We hold the body with the 5 eighths, and we tighten the nuts. And then on the 30 PSI pressure limiting valve, we do the exact same thing. Loosen the nut on the top. Once you get them loose, you should be able to remove them with your fingers. This kind of, you kind of pull it down, pull it out to the side. Again, make sure that your arrow is facing in the up direction. Put the bottom in first. Hand tighten. Pull the nut up. Top in. Down. Hand tighten and then finish tighten with your wrenches. Top and the same thing on the bottom. And that's it.